Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer at Christ Episcopal Church in Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. Today is Monday, February 1st. If you are visiting with us for the first time, we welcome you to the prayers and we are here every morning, Monday through Saturday, with morning prayer being led by a different person at Christ Church, either clergy or lay. So we invite you to come back and, and worship with us as often as you would like. For those who worship with us on a regular basis, again, welcome, and it's always wonderful <clears throat> to have you with us. A little bit of housekeeping before we get started. The psalm this morning is Psalm 58, and it is... Uh, on page 664, begins on page 60, 64 of your prayer book. And the reading this morning is from the Gospel of Matthew, I mean, I'm sorry, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 7, verses 24 through 37. So you might want to mark your places for those two. And we will begin, as always, on page 80 of the Book of Common Prayer. If you don't have a Book of Common Prayer and would like one, please give the church office a call and we will be glad to make arrangements to get one to you. Okay. <clears throat> Beginning on page 80, Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 82, let us say together the Jubilate. Be joyful in the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 664 in your prayer books, let us say together Psalm 58. <clears throat> Do you indeed decree righteousness, you rulers? Do you judge the peoples with equity? No, you devise evil in your hearts, and your hands deal out violence in the land. The wicked are perverse from the womb, Liars go astray from their birth. They are as venomous as a serpent. They are like the deaf adder which stops its ears, which does not heed the voice of the charmer, no matter how skillful his charming. O oh God, break their teeth in their mouths. Pull the fangs of the young lions, O oh Lord. Let them vanish like water that runs off. Let them wither like trodden grass. Let them be like the snail that melts away, like a stillborn child that never sees the sun. Before they bear fruit, let them be cut down like a briar. Like thorns and thistles, let them be swept away. The righteous will be glad when they see the vengeance they will bathe their feet in the blood of the wicked. And they will say, surely there is a reward for the righteous. Surely there is a God who rules the earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The first canticle this morning will be the Song of Isaiah, and it's Canticle 9, the first song of Isaiah, Canticle 9, 
page 86 in your prayer book. Surely it is God who saves me. I will trust in him and not be afraid. For the Lord is my stronghold and my sure defense, and he will be my savior. For the, therefore, you shall draw water from rejoicing, from the springs of salvation. And on that day you shall say, give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make his deeds known among the peoples. See that they remember that his name is exalted. Sing the praises of the Lord, for he has done great things, and this is known in all the world. Cry aloud, inhabitants of Zion, bring out your joy, for the great one in the midst of you is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The lesson this morning is Mark chapter 7, verses 24 through 37. From there he set out and went away to the region of Tyre. He entered a house and did not want anyone to know he was there. Yet he could not escape notice. But a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit immediately heard about him. And she came and bowed down at his feet. Now that woman was a Gentile of, of Syrophoenician origin. She begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, that the children be fed first, for it is not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, sir, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. Then he said to her, for saying that, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. So she went home, found the child lying on the bed and the demon gone. Then he returned from the region of Tyre and went by way of Sidon towards the Sea of Galilee in the region of Decapolis. They brought to him a deaf man who had an impediment in his speech they begged him to lay his hand on him. He took them aside in private, away from the crowd, and put his fingers into his ears, and he spat and touched his tongue. Then looking up to heaven, he sighed and said, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately his ears were opened, his tongue was released, and he spoke plainly. Then Jesus ordered them to tell no one. But the more he ordered them, the more ze zealously they proclaimed it. And they were astounded beyond measure, saying, He has done everything well. He even makes the deaf to hear and the mute to speak. The word of the Lord. We'll now say together Canticle 19, which begins on page 94 of your prayer book. <clears throat> o ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Turning to page 96, um, let us say the um, Apostles' Creed together. Let's reaffirm our faith. I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. 
I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Continuing with suffrage A, let us um, pray the suffrage responsively. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let not your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Almighty God, and, and everlasting God, you govern all things both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people and in our time grant us your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Now a colic for the renewal of life. O oh God, the King Eternal, whose light divides the day from the night and turns the shadow of death into morning, drive far from us all wrong desires, incline our hearts to keep your law and guide our feet into the way of peace, that having done your will with cheerfulness while it was day, we may, when night comes, rejoice to give you thanks. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. A prayer for mission. O oh God, you have, made, <coughs> you have made of one blood all the peoples of the earth and sent your blessed Son to preach peace to those who are far off and to those who are near. Grant that people everywhere may seek after you and find you. Bring the nations into your fold. Pour out your Spirit upon all flesh and hasten the coming of your kingdom through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pause for a few moments of silence or offering your prayers and intercessions to our Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, we pray for all those who are in need of prayer. We ask your, um, your continued guidance to Christ Church and to all churches and places of worship around the world. We ask for health, con um, improving health for those who have contracted COVID-19. And we ask for your guidance and love for those who are caring for them. 
We ask prayers for all the caregivers and the frontline workers um, in this very difficult time. We pray for those who have died. Amen. Continuing with the general thanksgiving on page 101. <clears throat> Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and the hope of glory, and we pray. Give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom, with you and the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you for joining us in worship this morning. I wish for you a blessed day and, and a great week. I look forward to um, seeing you the next time, and I hope that you will join us often uh, as to begin the day with morning prayer. Thank you. Have a great one. <clears throat>